Welcome to the Marinef Boat Mooring results video. My name is Jess Bone and I'm a research assistant for the Marinef project. This video is going to give you an overview of the main results from the boat mooring reefs surveyed by the French National Museum of Natural History. The first part of the results will focus on the evolution of the benthic colonisation on the boat mooring reefs. Benthic organisms are the fauna and flora living on the seabed in direct contact with the sea floor. The most mobile species, cephalopods, fish and crustaceans, will be explored in the second part. What is the benthic diversity of the boat mooring reefs? A total of 59 different benthic taxa, species or morphotype, were observed on the three boat mooring reefs. 48 taxa have been identified on the Bizu boat mooring site, 36 at the Buhara and 40 at the Vubonk. The main species found were the kelp Laminara hyperborea, the colonial sea squirt of the genus Dodemnum, the solitary sea squirts of the family Pyurids, of the genus Acidiella, and the species Siona intestinalis, the sponge of the genus Sicon, or the hydroid Tubularia indivisor. The spatial variability of the taxonomic richness on this box plot shows a difference between the sites, in particular between the bees use site and the other sites. The circles represent a count made within a quadrat, the size varying according to the number of different tacks are identified. Not all quadrats are shown. Regardless of the microhabitat within the boat mooring reef, there are a greater number of species within the boat mooring reefs of Bizu compared to others, such as the sponge Espiropsis fucorum or the hydroid Nematesia antonina. The difference is less marked between the Buhara site and the Vubonk site. A significant difference emerges between the external mooring structures, such as the top disc and columns, compared to the internal structures of the crevices and the feet, whatever the site. The higher taxonomic richness of, on the Bizu reef compared to the other two sites can be explained by its proximity to the coast, and in particular to the Rance estuary. It is a very productive environment with significant land inputs and variable salinity, allowing the presence of estuarine species alongside strictly marine species. This observation raises interesting research questions in relation to colonisation mechanisms and the organisation of biodiversity in coastal environments. This new figure represents the temporal variability of the taxonomic richness for each site since the immersion of the reefs. Dots represent taxonomic richness per quadrat for each monitoring period. This figure clearly underlines a marked seasonal phenological signal. Indeed, the diversity is stronger at the end of summer and beginning of autumn compared to the end of winter and beginning of spring. This signal is completely normal and shows that the colonisation of reefs follows natural cycles. A striking point of this graph is the speed of colonisation of the Bizu reef compared to the other two sites. Colonisation on the Bizu reef is much faster even if the three reefs follow the same trend. This graph also shows a marked interannual signal with a higher taxonomic richness in 2021 than in 2022. This reflects a rapid colonisation of pioneer species with significant diversity to gradually give way to a more perennial but lower diversity. This is a classic pattern of colonisation of a submerged artificial structure. Once the variability of diversity has been analysed, it is also interesting to look at how the recovery rate varies over time and according to the reefs. The recovery rate increases significantly during the first year of the three reefs, going from 25 to almost 100% for the Bizu reef in just seven months. For the Buhara site, the recovery rate goes from 0 to almost 90% and from 15 to 80% for Vubonk. The colonisation of the reefs was therefore both diverse and abundant in a very short time on the three reefs. The speed of reef recovery, however, reflects a coast and offshore gradient, with faster recovery at Bizu than at Buhara, itself faster than at Vubonk. Analysis of the recovery rate in the second year is in progress, but the trends are for lower recovery in 2022 than in 2021 on the three reefs, as is the diversity. When we go into more detail in the benthic colonisation of the Marinef boat mooring reefs, we can observe through this multivariate analysis the distribution of species according to the nature of the structure observed. 
The internal structures of the boat moorings are quite clearly distinguished in terms of the communities present, from the vertical structures of the boat moorings having a greater exposure to light and to the hydrodynamics of the environment. Internal structures are represented mainly by encrusting bryozoans and hard tube polychaetes. While the vertical structures of the boat moorings host a greater diversity of taxa represented mainly by colonial ascidians, red algae and solitary ascidians, the variability of the habitat present within each Marinef boat mooring reef allows the reception of a significant benthic diversity with different ecological requirements. It conditions the variability of the communities more than the locations of the sites. This trajectory analysis shows the evolution of the benthic communities associated with each reef over time. For the three reefs, the benthic communities are very poor post-immersion, then diversify over time. However, the boat mooring reefs did not take the same trajectories depending on the sites, although they converged. The Bizu reef diversified very quickly, with a fairly large first access, to fairly quickly reach a diversified community, with several species of colonial and solitary ascidians, including the genus Plidium, and also some species of sponge. The Buhara boat mooring reef did not quite take the same trajectory. The first access shows that the first species took time to settle, and then went through a dominance of colonial ascidians and encrusting bryozoans for a large part of the year 2021, before gradually reaching the same communities as the Bizu site. The Vubonk reef generally followed the same trajectory as the Buharats reef, but the communities diversified more slowly. The Vubonk boat mooring reef dominated with barnacles for longer, as did the phase dominated by encrusting bryozoans and colonial ascidians. At the end of 2022, the Vubonk reef did not yet have the same communities as the Buhara and Bizu reefs. Through the analysis of the benthic communities, the offshore gradient emerges again with different trajectories for the Bizu reef compared to the other two sites further offshore, but also a slower diversification of the communities at the Vubonk reef than at the Buhara and only in Bizu. This is another way of observing the evolution of major taxonomic groups over time, depending on each site. This figure shows the evolution of the proportions of each taxonomic group over time on the three boat moorings. The Bizu boat mooring is rapidly diversified from April 2021, with a large proportion of crustaceans, ascidians, and associated with cnidarians and mollusks. Over time, cnidarians will take up more and more space to the detriment of the ascidians and crustaceans. Sponges and bryozoans will also come to settle little by little in equivalent proportions. The Buhara reef will generally follow the same trend. However, at the end of the monitoring in November 2022, a dominance of ascidians and cnidarians joins. The Vubonk reef will take longer to diversify with few species in the first months of colonisation, dominated by crustaceans and macroalgae. Then the colonisation will diversify at the end of the monitoring with a co-dominance of several taxa such as ascidians, bryozoans, cnidarians, crustaceans and macroalgae. This figure shows the taxonomic diversification over time within the three sites, but also this notion of replacement and therefore of succession of colonisation between the different taxa. This new analysis of the trajectories shows the evolution of the similarity of the benthic communities of the Baroneff boat moorings with the natural environment surrounding the sites over time. For this, all the quadrats made on the boat moorings were compared to all the quadrats made as part of the characterisation of benthic communities in surrounding rocky environments carried out during Quinton Turnon's doctoral thesis. Its work has served as reference monitoring within the natural environment in comparison to the Marinef boat moorings submerged on the same sites. The analysis clearly shows a significant increase in the similarity between the artificial environment and the natural environment within the three sites. The similarity between the natural environment and the boat moorings is greater in the Bizu site than on the other three sites. It can be expected that over time the Buhara and Vubonk boat moorings will follow the same trend as the Bizu boat mooring and tend to have benthic communities that are increasingly similar to the surrounding natural environment. This figure traces the evolution of the benthic communities on the Bizu boat mooring over time, according to their similarities with the benthic communities of the surrounding natural rocky environment.
This graph represents the positioning of each quadrat made on the boat mooring compared with a quadrat in the natural environment. The colours represent quadrat density. Each vertex represents a comparison variable, the difference in taxonomic richness, the percentage of similarity, as well as the replacement, i.e. the number of different species between the artificial boat mooring quadrats and the natural quadrats. The closer the quadrat is to wealth difference peak, the more it means that there is a big difference between the number of species present in the natural environment compared to the boat mooring. The closer the quadrat is to the replacement peak, the more it means that the number of species between the natural environment and the boat mooring is close, but that the species present are different between the two environments. Finally, the closer the quadrat is to the similarity peak, the more it means that the species present within the boat mooring are similar to the species present within the natural environment. Here, at first, the poorly colonised boat mooring hosts communities that are not very diversified. The similarity with natural environments is therefore very low, and the difference in taxonomic richness is very strong. Very quickly, within four months, the reef was colonised by a very large number of pioneer species. There is significant taxonomic diversity, but with benthic communities very different from the natural environment. The similarity remains low, at about 18%, but the replacement is then very strong, because we find as many species, but they are not the same communities as in the natural environment, due to the presence of pioneer and opportunistic species. Then gradually, over time, the communities associated with the boat mooring tend to resemble those present in the natural environment, with the colonisation of more perennial species over time. The similarity increases to reach nearly 40% similarity after two years of monitoring, and the replacement decreases, and the communities present on the reef are increasingly similar to those present in the natural environment. This figure summarises all the results obtained on the analysis of the colonisation processes of benthic communities on the Marinef boat mooring reefs, including a growing taxonomic diversity over time on the three sites with a peak of diversity at the end of the first summer, a wide coastal gradient that is emerging rapidly with a very productive BizU site and sites further offshore with colonisation processes that follow the same trends more slowly. Marinef boat moorings are attractive colonisation supports for benthic communities, in particular with the heterogeneity of the habitats present which allows for the colonisation of varied communities with different ecological requirements. It is still too early to conclude definitively, but it seems that the benthic communities associated with the Marinef boat moorings are rapidly tending to resemble communities in the natural environment. If this trend is confirmed, this result will show the effectiveness of the biomimicry of the Marinef boat moorings compared to the natural environment. The second part of the results will deal with the interaction of mobile species, including cephalopods, fish and crustaceans, with the Marinef boat moorings. Here is a photo of a splendid male black-faced blenny found on one of the three Marinef boat moorings. A total of 21 species of fish have been identified at the three Marinef boat mooring sites. Only four species of macropod crustaceans and only one species of cephalopod, the cuttlefish, were identified. The majority of fish species are common to the three sites, with only a few species to be found on particular sites, such as sea bream on the View Bonk site or the rock goby on the Bizu site. This figure shows the evolution of the taxonomic richness of fish over time, in red for the natural environment and in blue for the Marinef boat moorings. The number of species found in the natural environment is systematically higher than within the artificial boat mooring, even if the dynamics are the same, with again this seasonal phenology marked with a peak of species in autumn and a minimum at the end of the season in the end of winter. In addition, the fact that of identifying the presence of several species in winter in January means that the boat Marinef boat mooring has become a refuge for certain species which reside there all year round. This figure shows the role that the Marinef boat moorings play for certain fish species. When visually counting the species in and around the boat mooring, the behaviour of the fish when approaching the diver was noted. When the fish stays in the boat mooring or shelters, in the boat mooring as the diver approaches, it is considered loyal. When the fish flees the boat mooring as the diver approaches, it is considered unloyal. 
This behaviour transcribes the notion of refuge and shelter of the boat mooring in relation to the natural environment. In total, out of the 11 most observed species, nine of them showed in more than 60% of cases that they are faithful to the boat mooring. Three species are faithful to the boat mooring in 100% of cases. Only two species are 100% non-faithful. The design of the Marinef boat moorings has therefore allowed the installation of a number of important species within the boat mooring with a very strong relationship between the boat mooring and the species it hosts for a large majority of them. This figure shows the vertical distribution of fish species within the boat mooring. The corkwing wrasse is mostly present under the boat mooring, while the smallmouth wrasse is mainly found on top of the boat mooring. The more cryptobenthic species, such as the blennies, are mainly found within the body of the boat mooring, where there are the most hiding places. This spatial distribution within the boat mooring of fish species is very characteristic of what is found within the natural environment, but on a much smaller scale. The Marinef boat mooring is a miniature version of a natural rocky drop-off, where one systematically finds the small mouthed wrasse at the top of the drop-off and at the edge of the kelp forests, and the corkwing wrasse at the foot of the drop-off in the rocky scree. All of these results tend towards the objective of using the Marinef boat mooring as a tool for sampling biodiversity at the larger scale of a site. As part of the monitoring of the colonisation of the Marinef boat moorings, a participatory citizen science diving protocol has been set up in partnership with the Museum of Natural History in France, two local diving clubs and volunteer citizen divers. The comparative analysis of the data acquired with scientific monitoring and those acquired thanks to citizen science divers shows a real concordance of the data. This figure shows that the two survey types follow the same trend. The benthic communities diversify over time and the two monitoring methods reflect this phenomenon on the three monitoring sites. The scale of observation is not quite the same between the two monitorings. The protocol of the scientific monitoring of the biological communities is based on the realisation of small digital quadrats in which the inventory of the species is carried out as comprehensively as possible. The scale of observation is quite small despite the repetition of quadrats. As part of the participatory citizen science monitoring, divers have a closed list of taxa and will carry out an inventory at the scale of the boat mooring. They will therefore preferentially inventory species of large sizes or in large quantities. These two scales of observation ultimately prove to be very complementary and provide an overall view of the processes of colonisation of the boat moorings. These results show that at the end of these two years of monitoring, the participatory citizen science monitoring with the protocol implemented to date and the group of volunteer citizen divers makes it possible to transcribe the evolutions of colonisation of the Marinef boat moorings. It will therefore be possible to maintain monitoring of the artificial boat moorings in the Bay of St. Malo after the end of the Marinef project. Thanks for watching. There are more videos in the boat mooring series which are listed on screen. Be sure to also visit our social media and the Marinef project website for more resources.